Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Wright. I am going to be your unit coordinator for ENVT 3361 Environmental Assessment on the Albany and Crawley campuses for 2020. So this is the startup page that you'll see first when you go to Environmental Assessment on LMS. Uh, and just be aware that there is an official unit outline, which you can see now. Um, it's not very pretty. So we've got the information in other forms as well. Hopefully a little bit easier to read. Okay, so at the, at the top here, some I guess general information about the unit, some actually recommended pre-reading. A lot of these books are on uh, the library uh, ebook collection. So, uh, and the middle one here is a public domain reading. So. Um, the accessibility is pretty straightforward and um, if you can't understand the words in the readings we have a glossary which is pretty comprehensive there's over 800 entries in there so you probably will find what you're looking for and there's a schedule which we're looking at at the moment and what you'll notice by reading this bit and the general information is that the learning experience is based around a class project. Now we get to that in different ways and we'll just have a look at the schedule. So class project really involves a bit of planning and then going on a sampling field trip. Our field site is Ashfield Flats. We've been there before. We have some pre-existing data from last year's class and we will collect samples on which we'll do a bunch of analyses during the sample analyses analysis lab session so that's the thursday friday labs in parallel with that on mondays and tuesdays we run data analysis labs because in environmental science we collect data about environments we need to know how to analyze it and so there's a whole lot of labs which will ultimately enable you to analyze the data that you get from the class project and sitting in between those on Tuesday lunchtime, we have one lecture a week which provides supporting information uh, and places to ask questions and find us and give you a bit of background so you can understand what you're doing in the labs and the field and so on. Okay, so that hopefully makes a bit of sense. You can find out who we are by clicking on the instructors. There we all go. Get the zoom right again. So myself and Deirdre spearheading the Crawley part, or the Crawley students coordination, uh, coordination and tutoring in Albany done by Dr. Adam Lillicrab. And we'll have probably a couple of tutors. Sabuti was uh, one of our tutors last year. She's very good. And we hope to get as much of her time as possible in 2020 as well. Okay, so the field site, we can find out a little bit about it. If we click on field work, we get a bit of a heads up. Um, there's some idea of what you'll need to do for safety inductions, uh, but we'll do those in the lab and field. But here's the Ashfield flat site itself. I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can see it. So we've got the Swan River. It's in the Bassendine area. So it's a little way up the river from UWA. Fairly flat, as you can see from the widely spaced contours. It's the largest area of river flat in the Perth metro area. Contains a threatened vegetation community. Um, there are inputs of pollutants possible uh, because of the surrounding area. What we can see here, mostly residential, but the Chapman Street drain actually has a large catchment, go away notification, that uh, from pretty much the north and north west of this site drains an industrial area. So there's quite a, a lot of possibility that pollutants are coming in. Uh, we've got seasonal water bodies, which we may or may not be able to sample, uh, but we can certainly sample water in the drains and in the river. And we can take uh, soil and sediment samples uh, from dry lake beds or in the bottom of the drain uh, and water samples, as I mentioned before. So, um, and we can analyze those water samples for biological, chemical, and physical parameters to generate our data set. Last year, we looked at microplastics, which was a cool thing to do. We're not gonna do that this year. This year, we're gonna look at environmental DNA, which is potentially even cooler. 
So it's great to have you in the class and this short video is just to run through a few of the things that may be interesting or necessary for you to get started easily in the unit. Okay, good to see you here.